Founder of Project NOLA is frustrated with the city of New Orleans and Mayor Mitch Landrieu. Brian Lagarde posted his feelings on Facebook, and it sparked plenty of reaction. Anchor Sella Kim explains the reason behind all the tension. The mayor's never spoken to me. We've never ever been able to arrange a meeting with uh, with a police chief, um, and uh, whether past or present. And it's uh, honestly, it's, it's quite frustrating. So, founder of Project NOLA, Brian Lagarde, took his frustration to Facebook. Many people commented in support of the nonprofit. Its mission is to combat crime by installing surveillance cameras throughout the city. Really, it's a large financial burden, and I need help with it. Lagarde wants the mayor's support and acknowledgement so the nonprofit can get more private donations. And all we need is $120,000 a year to run it. Which is an amazingly low number. Project NOLA was founded in 2009. Two years later, it started installing surveillance cameras. Today, there's about 14,000 installed on top of homes, businesses, and at churches across the city of New Orleans. So I've gotten some calls from them saying, hey, you got somebody who's a little um, suspicious outside. Pastor of St. Dominic Church Michael Ork says the cameras make him feel safer. It has helped in that sense to give me a little bit of peace of mind. Most recently, Lagarde says Project NOLA helped police identify one of the first persons of interest in the mass shooting on Bourbon Street. We need the mayor to step up and say these people are important. They've solved a lot of crimes and, um, and you know, they do need help uh, with funding. Lagarde is also asking for volunteers to help monitor these screens constantly to prevent crime. On your side, Sala Kim, WDSU News. Now, this written statement from the mayor's office, quote, when the city discusses partnerships with any organization, there are hosts of pri privacy, security, and legal concerns, particularly when dealing with criminal investigations. We've had multiple conversations in the past with Project NOLA, but we were not able to work out a formal partnership. A disturbing